Good evening, good evening, good evening, ladies. Welcome um, to Be Brave. My name is Ambrosia, and this is Be Brave. If you are new and you're joining us and you've never been with us before for an episode, um, Be Brave is a um, it's an organization that's come together to empower women and to promote um, emotional wholeness and to also bring about healing to you and to your soul. Um, so tonight. We are talking about boundaries and dating and um, where is your hope? Where is your hope is is our title tonight and it's it's our it's a big it's a big deal, it's a big focus. So we're just gonna jump right on in. Um I so funny I tried to record on Saturday like I said I would. I had some technical difficulties, I was gonna talk about something totally different. And then last night before I went to sleep I was like, oh, you know, yeah, no, that's not what I need to be talking about. So we went a different route this week, but I'm so excited anyway. So as we wind down, um, next week we'll have a guest speaker. I'm so excited to bring her to you guys. And she's phenomenal. Um, she knows a lot about dating, and she has a lot of information to give us. And so I, I can't wait for next week's episode. So I hope you tune in on Wednesday evening, um, and it will, you know... I'll go ahead and post that episode, and it's going to be amazing. So, thank you again for joining me tonight. Um, like and share, like and share, spread the word, uh, give this good word to someone else. Don't be stingy. <laughs> All right, boundaries and dating. Where is your hope? Um, Father God, in the name of Jesus, we just pray that you would touch this class, that you would allow us to learn, to be captivated, to be drawn in, and to move into new places in our lives. We thank you in Jesus' name, Amen. So, um. I want us to look at this definition of love through humanity. So looking at love through the eyes of humanity is valuing close relationships with others, in particular, um, in particular those in which sharing and caring are reciprocated, reciprocated, and um, yes, those that are reciprocated. So going ahead and and being having you know love for someone is. Um, loving someone and being close to someone can do two things. It can grow you, it can mold you, it can shape you, but it can also go ahead and um, sometimes love can be blind. So we always say love, love is blind um, because there's those moments where you want to go ahead and you know you give your all and, and you love someone so much to the point where you place your, you displace your hope and so i want to look at two things tonight placing your hope in the right place and placing your hope in the wrong place we'll start with placing your hope in the wrong place when you place your hope in situations where um the person that you're placing your hope in to change is not going to change and you see a certain pattern and behavior for a while, then you have to understand that that's placing your hope in a place that will sink you into a deep, 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 dark place of disappointment. Um, when you are placing your hope into someone and you're expecting them to have a personality change, most of the time, someone's personality is just their personality. If you do not like the that their favorite color is red but that's their favorite color and it's always going to be then that's something you wouldn't pray to you know it's you could pray as to, to your blue in the face and that their favorite color is still going to be red um if you're praying for someone perhaps to have a healing in their heart from like a broken childhood or situation those are things that you can place hope in god in knowing that he can change them but when you place your hope in dreams and in fantasies you're not placing your hope into um, something that is anchored. You know, we all know what an anchor is. You put the, you drop the anchor off the ship. It allows the ship to stay and not to move. When you're placing your hope and you're anchoring your hope in, in Jesus Christ and, and in, in situations that are a reality and not a fantasy, then you have your hope placed, anchored in something that most more than likely will come about. But when you take your hope and you place it into you know somebody to stop you know being physically abusive but 
Um, sometimes the best telling of the future is the past. Well, their past has shown that they have no, they're not repentant. They do not have no desire to change their, the ways. Um, they're not trying to change their ways. They're not showing you um, that they're trying to change their ways. Then you just end up um, placing your hope in in a place that's like sinking sand. You know what I'm saying? So there's a scripture in Proverbs. I can't think exactly of the chapter, but it states, Hope deferred makes the heart sick, but a dream fulfilled is a tree of life. Well, oh, your hope being deferred, it makes your heart sick. You know, when you... Um, you know, maybe you were a kid and you had the biggest hopes and dreams that you were going to get a bicycle for Christmas, for example. So Christmas Day comes and you are just hoping and hoping and hoping. And all the gifts you open, there's no bicycle for Christmas. Well, you had hope, so now you're experiencing that disappointment. Well, if we, we fast forward into adult life, when you put your hope into a, into a situation, into a relationship that may be dead and gone, or into a situation that maybe you have to bend a little bit and, and um, you know, there's certain things that you have to compromise on because no, no mate is perfect when it comes to dating. You're not even perfect. So when you place your hope into wanting characteristic changes, when, you know, really that's who that person is. Maybe that person is boring. Maybe that person is a bookworm. Maybe that person is a homebody and they really don't want to go out and be adventurous. Well, then maybe that's when you consider, are you dating the wrong person? Um, they do say that opposites attract, but sometimes oppositeness is not always the greatest place to be when it a lot and when you are all you're the one who's constantly having to take a back seat in the things that you want to do maybe you're adventurous maybe you want to explore maybe you want to do you know more sightseeing maybe you want to um do more traveling and if somebody is not in that same space in that same mental space as you are while you're dating them then that then then that becomes difficult it becomes difficult because if you're looking at a situation and most of us are dating um, you know, expecting an outcome. Either you're expecting a life partner or you're expecting marriage. Well, if you're expecting marriage or you're expecting a life partner, if someone's personality is they have a lot of flaws and you can't seem to deal with them and you're hoping and praying that those flaws will go away, let me serve you a good notice. You could pray into your blue in the face. They're going to stay the same. Um, somebody's personality is just their personality. Leave them alone. Move on get you someone else but if you love that person and you're willing to compromise and to bend a little bit then you know maybe you could just grab you a book maybe you guys can learn how to adjust to each other's personality types and maybe then therefore um the hope in the hope that you have in the fact that the change is coming about is the fact that you see action that the change is going to occur. You don't want to just believe in some in someone to change when there's no action beyond behind it. Like I said, if uh, maybe you someone that you're dealing with has been physically abusive, well, you can say sorry until you're blue in the face, but until your actions line up with your apology and your heart of repentance, then there's nothing here to talk about. You know what I'm saying? There's, I'm not going to sit here and continue to pray that you'll change, change, change. I'm hoping and I'm praying that you'll change for me. And in all reality, maybe you're not the person that that man will change for or the person that will encourage that change. It may be someone else. So placing your hope in dead situations or in places that are not going to go anywhere then it's really just a waste of your time and your energy and maybe you should reevaluate your your dating relationship or your dating situation and see really ask yourself journal write it down you know i always encourage journaling you should set journal goals and ask yourself really um, yes, I may love this person through the eyes of humanity. I may really want to be close with this person in regards to relation or relationship. However, this person's personality is not something that I can see myself dealing with for the long term. That's a big girl move. That is a big girl move. You are acknowledging, yes, you may uh, love this person or may be into this person. However, their personality flaws or whatever they have going on um, is something that you can't deal with for a long term, a long term situation. 
So then Proverbs 12, uh, Proverbs, I believe it's chapter 12. I'll look at that and post it later. But Proverbs, where it says, um, hope.